the stop and go method. Teach your pet leash manners by stopping when they pull. Wait for slack reward and resume walking. Reinforces that pulling doesn't lead to progress. Change directions. Engage your pet by making unexpected turns when they pull. Encourages focus on your movements, reducing pulling tendencies. Reward with treats for compliance. Use positive reinforcement. Instill good leash behavior with positive reinforcement. Reward your pet with treats or praise when walking on a loose leash and creates an enjoyable, rewarding experience. The reverse lure. Guide your pet behind you using a treat. Redirects focus, discouraging pulling. Reward compliance, fostering a more relaxed pace during walks. Practice in a controlled environment. Start training in a calm space and introduce distractions gradually. Builds confidence and establishes a foundation for polite walking in varied settings. Consistent commands. Establish clear commands like heel or easy. Reinforce during walks to guide behavior. Promotes cooperative walking and a deeper understanding. Patience and persistence. View loose leash, walking as a journey. Be patient, celebrate small victories and stay consistent. Cumulative effect leads to a cooperative walking experience. Vary your walking routes. Keep walks exciting by changing routes. Engages curiosity, reduces pulling tendencies. Introducing variety makes each walk interesting and cooperative. Use proper walking gear. Invest in quality gear for comfort and control. Enhances the walking experience, providing security for both you and your furry companion. Be attuned to your pet's body language. Pay close attention to your pet's cues during walks. Learn their body language to anticipate any potential pulling triggers. By understanding and responding to your pet's signals, you can proactively address situations before pulling occurs, creating a smoother and more enjoyable walking experience for both you and your furry friend.